There's no need to go to stores to hoard our product. We have plenty of water in stock. Right. If you're just going out to the store in order to get hint water, you can actually go online. Well, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to our Sub to Studios Frontline update. Uh, so excited to welcome our audience back. Uh, I'm very thrilled to have uh, founder and CEO, Kara Golden of Hint Water with us here today. Uh, thanks Hello. so much for joining, Kara. Yeah, really totally. Kara. Totally, um, absolutely. So loved your talk at Recur that you gave for us a couple months ago. Uh, and, you know, we we're talking about the subscription economy and some of the growth and things that have changed with Hint Water. And the world has evolved so much since then. Would love to hear from you on kind of the latest, you know, what's going on with Hint Water and, you know, is, is we got into this global pandemic, you know, people were lining up two, two staples I saw going water and toilet paper. Uh, yeah. So were people lining up on your website to get the hint water? I hope so. There's the personal side and then there's the business side. How do you get more prepared? And I feel like we were in pretty good shape, not for the reason of sort of like having a crystal ball to imagine that yeah. any of this would happen, frankly. But the fact that, you know, 40% of our business was direct to consumer and a large chunk of that as subscription yep. was, you know, incredible, right? Like we were already set up to do this. And as I've always said to, you know, entrepreneurs, I mean, for the beverage industry, when you talk to most beverage companies, when you ask them, hey, are you guys doing e-commerce? Most of them say, oh yeah, you know, you just go to Amazon and you buy our product. And I've always said, that's like, you know, that, yes, that is, you know, selling direct, but that's not necessarily in my mind, e-commerce, right? right? Like you're, you're not, that's, you're not owning, you know, the, the subscription program. You don't really have a relationship with the customer when, you know, the hoarding was going on with the toilet paper and the water and, you know, everything else in stores. I think that the key thing that we had to do was um, there's this definition of essential, right? And so we mm -hmm. had to actually go back to um, our third party suppliers, Amazon, as well as like all the stores like Target and Kroger and everybody else, and actually explain to them that we were water. Right. And why that's important for those of you who don't know, like especially if you're ordering on like an Amazon or Target or whatever, they're um, prioritizing essentials um, over other products. So your delays could be greater. Oh, that's um, really interesting. But I think like that was the key thing for us that we really felt like, you know, it was not just about the definition, but it was also like we were really excited that we were already set up for this because if we didn't have our own drinkhint.com set up, I think it would have been, you know, really, really stressful. I think that there's probably a lot of beverage companies out there that aren't even selling on Amazon. Right. I mean, when you think about two to 3,000 beverage companies in the U.S. today, um, you know, they weren't even selling direct. You know, they were just wow. focused on, you know, being in when did they get into Costco and Walmart, and et cetera. Um, so I think like, you know, the other piece of this that we really were pretty quick about was kind of thinking like the consumer, what they mm -hmm. were going through. I mean, we were the, you know, first people I think to really, in terms of like water companies, in terms of getting out there saying like, there's no need to go to stores to like hoard our product. Like we yeah. have plenty of water in stock. Right. And you know, and so if you're just going out to the store, you know, in order to get hint water, you can actually go online. If you want to go to the store, like we're going to make sure that it's in stock there as well. But, yeah. but we were also going in four weeks ago to the stores and, um, you know, really recognizing that we were out of stock in certain areas wow. and realizing that there are auto replenishment systems in a lot of these stores were not working. Wow. And so our sales team was going in saying, hey, you know, we see this issue that for whatever reason, you're not getting our product from the distributors and, you know, whether they're prioritizing, whether they don't understand that we're, you know, a essential product or, you know, what exactly is happening. So in the midst of that, we're happy to like send in a truck and bill you directly for that truck. And like 50% of our partners actually took us up on that. They were right. like, yeah, I don't even have time to figure this out right now, but you're right. So 
I think that, you know, the moral of the story is, is to really understand your supply chain. As I always say to our team, like the most annoying thing to anybody is to say, hey, we've got a problem. Like yeah. you can, you are allowed to identify problems as long as you put some kind of effort against right. like, tr like some kind of solution. The other thing that we really saw, we also make everything that we do in the U.S., um, mm -hmm. including all the bottles and the labels. And, you know, we source fruit from the U.S. and create our own flavors here and everything. And so I feel like um, there were retailers, too, that were kind of, you know, dealing with their own supply chain issues right. that maybe they were sourcing from, you know, Asia and they were, you know, either just not getting orders or they were getting held up at the, you know, ports or, or I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, early on in this, you know, ports were shutting down because people were getting sick. They were, you know, holding stuff in quarantine for X number of days because they didn't know how long the virus was totally. literally like cardboard for. And just, you know, so imagine international supply chains just, and, and in the very beginning, it was China was shut down and wasn't shipping anything over. Totally. So, you know, really just a lot a lot can be thrown into the mix there. Um, and, it, and it seems like you guys have a, a pretty good, you know, handle on it. But that, that I could imagine for a lot of companies has been a big challenge. I mean, we're learning as we go, but yeah. I think it's like, um, you know, so far it's kind of like, whew. That, like, that was like, you Crisis know, that, that was, I mean, it's always been my, you know, preference to, uh, to source in the U.S. We only actually sell in the U.S. today. And so we've also, we've had a lot of outreach, um, a little bit now, but a, a lot from, you know, over the years from other countries. And I've said, you know, the, the challenge for us is that we really do believe that if we were to go into China, for example, that we'd really like to source fruit and create in China and create jobs yeah. in China and, and actually bottle there. And yeah. so I think that this just makes it, you know, that much more clear to us that that yeah. will be, you know, what should be happening. Yeah. And, and I think everybody giving a, giving everybody a gut check on their supply chain and, and what their backup plans are and, and what they're going to be doing, maybe, you know, going forward to be a little more protected. Cashy offers intelligent payment processing for subscription-based companies. More than merely processing payments, Cashy recovers over 80% of failed payments. If there's a payment snag, Cashy will catch it without bugging you or your customers. Credit card information stays up to date on the fly using our automated account updater. Catch your cash with Cashy. Visit CashyCash.com today for a free demo. It's interesting because I was talking with uh, a reporter earlier today about this, and we've been talking to a lot of brands about how we've seen this shifting consumer buying habits, consumer engagement with brands. You know, all these brands you, you said, you know, all these brands that maybe didn't have a direct to consumer channel are now either scrambling to do it or just weren't in as good of a position. And I feel like what we see happening is it's really changing the shape of consumer buying habits now. Do you see that happening? Do you see, you know, consumers coming more direct to brands now and in particular maybe with Hint? A hundred percent. I mean, I, I would say that you know, easily. I mean, our, our e-commerce numbers have really grown in the last month. I mean, I think it will be, you know, at least 50% um, of our overall business. But, you know, in fairness, I mean, the other piece of our business, I mean, Hint is, is doing great yeah. um, through this, but the other piece of this business, which was a chunk of our business, is food service. I think people are, you know, trying to tighten their belt a little bit. I don't, I think that water will, you know, stay in, in mm -hmm. and I think, for example, if you're putting, you know, pitchers of water on a table and asking employees to go and, you know, use that instead, yeah. I mean, it's going to, you know, like the world is changing a little bit yeah. or pushing a button or I don't know, like, I, you know, again, yeah. I'm just projecting on it, but right. I think that that's like the world is really going to change a little bit on uh, from that perspective. But it might change in a, the, the positive direction for you guys too, if, if that goes, because I think there's this new normal, which is right now, and then there will be this new, new normal as we emerge from it. Uh, like you said, maybe we think different before we touch a button or maybe we're washing our hands more. I mean, Delta came out and said, 
that there's a new standard of Delta clean on all of our flights going forward, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, maybe we'll find the, the consumer and, and I think we're seeing this right now where consumers that would say, yeah, I could go to the corner store and grab a hint water, but I didn't really think about it before I can subscribe to it and it's going to come to me every week and I don't have to have all these touch points. Totally. So, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of that. It's like, it's a hassle and I would yeah. much rather be receiving it, you know, at home or, yeah. and just have it delivered to me. And especially if it's free shipping and, right. um, but we, we had all these masks made up oh, and yeah. um, see that the little hint masks and, uh, and so they're not N95. I mean, they're just the cloth masks, but yeah. at least in the Bay area. And I'm sure this is, I think this is starting definitely in other cities as well. And perhaps we'll be all over the U S but you can't even walk into a grocery store in right. you know, the Bay area without having a mask on. Like we're ordering a bunch of them because I think if we can get them out there to people too, yeah. you know, it's like, again, I think that's what I want to be known for in a brand like that, you know, we're actually helping people. You know, and, and, and I think, you know, the masks will probably be around for some time and it may be a, a staple of society going forward as we find out it makes people feel more comfortable. You know, I know that's what you know, the Hint's mission is in, uh, you know, late 2018, you rolled out the kids' juices and the kids' components to your brand. And mid-2019, you rolled out the deodorant and the sun care. Um, and I really see, you know, what you guys are doing from a mission and a standpoint of, of helping yeah. people. And it's awesome and fantastic. Has this changed the way you look at future products, the way you look at the future of the brand at all, too, through this pandemic? Yeah, I mean, I think for us, it's like, you know, Hint has always been a brand that, you know, has helped people drink water, but, mm -hmm. but has also, um, consumers have always told me that it helps them, you know, stay healthy or get healthy. And so I think like what the last month for people has really, you know, man, I mean, certainly for, for our family, you know, is, is nobody really knows. And the best that they can do is actually stay healthy. I think that, you know, the hint just fits right into that brand. I mean, we speak to people, uh, we've always talked to people about health and the importance of drinking water. And, you know, I've always like said to people like, you know, while I would love for you to drink hint, if you don't drink hint and you drink tap water, you know, like, I'm good with you. We don't like have an issue. <laughs> like my, my real audience is, you know, people who have a challenge drinking yeah. water like I did, you know, maybe there's going to be the social distancing and wearing masks and all that kind of stuff. And, but I think exercising and eating right and, you know, and really trying to make sure that your immune system doesn't get hit is yeah. like, it's the best you can do. Right. Absolutely. And so there's, there's no other, you know, reason that, that I can see that, you know, hint won't sort of fall into that kind of, um, you know, that, that world that they're living. Yeah. It's such an awesome, awesome mission. I'm sure why you guys have been so successful with your, your growth and continued success. Thank there. you. It's great to see you're drinking hint there. Oh, and yeah. you know, uh, what do I have today? This is the Blackberry. Oh, the Blackberry awesome. today. Hopefully in a few, in a couple of months, we're going to roll out the, the blueberry lemon, which is Ooh. unbelievable. And we've been <laughs> like working on it for a long time. So it'd be fun to, to, to experiment with it. Do you take, do you take part in putting together some of those flavors? Oh yeah. Even? Yeah, okay. still. I mean, it's oh, like, awesome. yeah. So the beauty of actually, I mean, I always tell people the beauty of, you know, sort of being, I'll always be the founder, but also the CEO is that, you know, I, I'm, I basically get to roam around and, you know, I'm helping, like I said, I'm, I'm running into target stores and, yep. and whole foods and some of our local stores that we sell hint to actually go in and merchandise. And, you know, as I said to my team, like the, you know, I'm, I'm not going to send my team in my sales team to go and, you know, do something that I wouldn't do. I often tell people the the E in CEO actually stands for everything as chief everything officer because that's what you have to do. Yeah. Have to do. I'm also um, fit, I have a book coming out in October. It's called Undaunted. Undaunted. And um, and you know it's really it's it's there's a lot of the story of Hint in there. But uh, mm -hmm. prior, I think as you know, I mean prior to Hint, I actually ran the shopping and e-commerce for AOL and. Yep had uh, started my career at Time and was at CNN. And, and so I, you know, sort of like have, have just 
jumped in and, and kind of done yeah. this stuff and figured like, you know, I had no idea what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. And, and like, I just have fun every single day, just trying and, and being undaunted and, you know, and, and learning. And, yeah. um, and I think that that's the, um, you know, that's life, right? I, I absolutely love your story, Karen. I'm really looking forward to the book. Your, your story is one I share with my, my oldest kids are my, my nine-year-old twin girls. And uh, so oh, I share, awesome. I talk with them about, you know, your success and what Hind has done. And, you know, I really try and, and share a lot of successful women CEO stories with them. Oh, um, that's so nice. You know, I want them to, to have that vision and, and show that they can do anything they want to do. And so I think, you know, it's awesome. It's a great story. Oh, that's so, so nice. That's, yeah. that's super, super great. So, yeah. well, thanks so much. You know, I know yeah. uh, you've got a very busy day and I really appreciate you taking the time to jump on. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, bye everybody. Su yes. Super nice to have you guys all here and listening and it's really Absol great. Absolutely. And we will, uh, we'll keep in touch. We'll get updated, uh, check back in with you in October when the book's coming out and really excited for that. And, uh, we'll, we'll keep talking, Kara. Really appreciate Perfect. it. Perfect. Okay. Thanks again. Bye.